All right, this is the blog email template from Kajabi's new visual email editor. And I'm gonna walk you through as you are customizing and setting these up. So the really cool feature is that, and you'll hear me say that all the time because I think there are many, many amazing features. Underneath settings, you can go in and modify your fonts, use custom fonts. If you wanna display your custom fonts, so here I chose Josephine Sands and Mon, oh, where is it? Mon, Montserrat. And by choosing those, those are considered custom fonts. So if I uncheck this and I click save, it'll go back to the defaults. So if you make changes here that you want to show up, make sure that you choose custom fonts. When you choose save, then the typography will adjust. Now, when you go back here under color scheme, you can choose the page background, the header text color, and the body text color. So you can click on this and I can switch it over to PBK blue because it's a very dark navy and it will save that on the email. The other piece that you can customize here is the view in web browser link. So that's right up here at the top right here. And on this, you can change the background color, the text color, you have options for desktop layout as well as mobile. So you can adjust that, make sure you are saving your work as you go, and then we will move on to the sections. So Kajabi has pre-filled these as part of the template, but you can move them around, you can adjust them, you can do whatever you want to. When you want to move them, you just grab the two horizontal lines and drag. It's totally drag and drop. A good thing is if you want to rename your sections, especially if you're planning on using this as a template going forward, then it's really nice because you know exactly, oh, this text is whatever you create it to be. So, and this is, you know, the image of whatever. So you do that with that by clicking the three dots and then you have the options of rename, duplicate, hide, and delete. I'm a big fan of just hiding things. I don't often delete until I am a thousand percent positive I'm not going to use that piece. Whether it is now in the visual editor for email, whether it's in a product or on a page section. Because sometimes the soon as you delete it, you realize you actually wanted it there. So that is, and it all works exactly the same. So you don't have to learn anything new. What is worked on products, what works on pages is exactly how uh, email is set up. So the cool thing that I find is even if you're not blogging regularly, there are so many ways that you could use this template. Maybe you have a podcast. Maybe you're like me where you run a membership and in the course of a week, you may have uploaded new content. You may have had a member upload something. So even though this is focused on blog, this really could be just a showcase of linking to different pieces of content your YouTube channel, your Instagram feed, your podcast, another podcast. Like this, you really could expand and it is a very elegant layout. So here underneath the blog post title, this is where on the image, you can select your image, put that in. So it'll look beautiful. And then for the CTA, and again, this is if they click the image, you have the standard for landing page, sales page, checkout page, or going straight to a URL. So would work great, especially for maybe a weekly update for your customers 
because you could link straight to the product post. I can link directly to the video that I've made that's inside a product that my members have access to and it would work great. It would also work really well if you were sending this out to non-customers. You could link straight to your podcast. You could link straight to your YouTube channel. You could link to a guest interview. So really let your mind expand out on the potential for these different templated sections. The nice thing is, especially if you're link linking out, um, just type in, you know, see here, click that, click the insert and edit link right here, insert your link, just make an easy one for right now, and it shows up, okay? So it's really nice. And then you can take advantage of using the automations that are available in Kajabi. And here I will completely give a shameless plug. If you are on a plan that does not include automations, it is approximately, check the current pricing, but it's basically a $50 upgrade. It is completely worth it because if you're using automations and conditional automations, sorry, I should specify, it's a conditional automations upgrade. You have basic automations, but you can then access conditional. You can really leverage crazy amounts of power in Kajabi, and you cannot find a virtual assistant that works 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, doesn't screw up, you don't have to tell them repeatedly what you want done and hope it gets done correctly. So yes, complete shameless plug. I encourage anyone who is truly wanting to leverage power that Kajabi has, upgrade and get conditional automations. So, okay, we'll go back now. <laughs> I just have to insert that sometimes because I don't think people realize how valuable conditional automations really are. So you're just a bunch of lined up blog posts. Here you have the social media icons. So it's a very, I think, solid template for displaying any kind of content, not just a blog post at all. And the nice thing is you can always add a section. So if you want to start with this and then you want to put in maybe a an announcement to an upcoming an event, a countdown timer, you want to add a video, all of that can be done with a simple click of a button and then adding it onto the email. So that is just a quick run through of the blog email template. Have fun, get it done. I would love to hear any creative ideas that you have that you might use this template for. So I will talk to you guys again very, very soon and have fun playing with all these fun, amazing, amazing time-saving tools that Kajabi has given us.